we go, let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to need here. You're going to need a couple skillets on the stove. And I'm going to go ahead here and let's go ahead and remove these lids and get some heat on these pans and get them started to warm up, okay? So when we're ready to actively cook, we're ready to actively cook. Let's take it to the overhead now and show you what ingredients you'll need. All right, of course, if you're doing a trout veggie roll-up, you will require some lovely trout fillets. We've got a couple nice looking trout fillets right here uh, in, the, in the pan in front of me. So we'll go ahead, let's go overhead actually. There we go, so we've got our trout fillets. We've got a beautiful fresh veggie mix here that includes red cabbage, carrots, and kale. This is one of the highly customizable parts of the recipe. If you wanted to do spinach or mushrooms or whatever kind of veggies you have lying around, this is the perfect place to do that, right? You're going to need some butter. So we've got some butter right here. You're also going to be using some hummus, okay? We're using one of our favorite hummuses here. This is a lemon garlic infused hummus. But if you preferred like a red pepper hummus or any, there's so many different varieties of flavored hummus out there. I mean, it's dealer's choice. So whatever kind of hummus that you'd like, we've of course got a couple seasonings that we're gonna be using today here as well. So we've got our Mountain Magic all-purpose seasoning on this side, which is available on our website at montanamaxbbq.com. And our go-to when it comes to seafood is one of our barbecue seasonings, the letter buck. Uh, absolutely fabulous on seafood. So we'll be using that with our trout as well. We're gonna be using right here, some secret sauce. This is essentially like a, a Thousand Island mustard kind of combo. Whatever Thousand Island dressing would work great for this. Uh, mustard, uh, Greek yogurt, tahini, any sort of sauce that you'd like to give it a little bit of extra flair. And then right here, of course, in our tortilla holder, we have some tortillas. Okay, You can't have a wrap if you don't have anything to wrap it in. If you uh, don't want to use tortillas, you could also do this in uh, a lettuce wrap as well. See, customizable all yep. the way around the board. The only thing that you really can't customize with is these seasonings. I mean, who who would want to switch those out for anything more delicious? <laughs> I don't think you, I don't think you can. Uh, so, so, anyways, we've got all that ready to go. Let's bring it back over the top here, and let's start cooking. Are you ready for some lunch, dear? Yes, I'm hungry. Thank you. Jen is hungry. I am hungry. We're all hungry. So, and we've got very little prep here that we have to do today as far as chopping and slicing. So if you want a quick, healthy, vibrant uh, meal for lunch, this is exactly what you want to do. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get a little olive oil in the pans back here. We've got that on the stove cam, which is absolutely fantastic. Two pans warming up here, olive oil in. Let's get that temp up a little bit. And I'm going to get a couple pads of butter here. We're going to be using the butter uh, to essentially baste our shrimp and cook our shrimp. I'm still stuck on yesterday. Our trout. If you wanted to do this with shrimp, another customizable feature, right? Uh, but we're going to be using this butter to baste our trout fillets to uh, cook them all the way through. So I'm going to get a knob of butter here. That looks to be about three tablespoons that we'll be using. So we're going to get that ready to go, get the wrapper off, and we'll get everything rocking and rolling, all right? We are going to cook our veggies through. We're going to get that rolling right away as well. I'm going to try to do both these trout fillets at the same time. And before I touch the trout, just so you know, uh, these are skin on. We'll talk about that as we cook these. I always prefer cooking skin on. You can get your fillets uh, with the skin removed. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, these happen to have the skin on them. I believe it protects the, the flesh of the trout a little bit more when you're cooking it. Uh, and is a little bit more forgiving. Plus, you're going to save uh, a dollar or two uh, when it comes to actually purchasing that because they charge you an extra buck or two for removing that skin off your fish. And some people actually enjoy a crispy fish skin, which we'll show you how to get that in the pan. I'm not going to include those in our wraps. Jen's not a big fan of uh, crispy fish skin. Uh, I don't mind it. I like it. So that's up to you. But we'll talk about that as we go. I'm going to flip these pans around here real quickly and let's take it over to the stove cam and show you how easy and simple this is. We're going to start with our veggie mix, okay? And we're going to give a light saute on those. There we go. Pans ready to rock. This we are just using olive oil in the pan, so we're going to make sure we get that coated. Just a light layer. We don't want anything burning. We don't want anything sticking. And we're going to slowly add a couple handfuls of this at a time. We don't want to dump the entire bowl in because this will reduce in mass 
quite significantly. So we add a little bit at a time. We don't also want to overcook it. We don't want to overcook it and have it become mush. It should have a little bit of body to it. A little bit of olive oil on top. This is going to be to help it cook through. As well as, and I'm going to grab a wood spoon here, as well as give something for our seasoning that we drop in here to adhere to, right? We need that seasoning to stick to our vegetables uh, just as we would the protein. So we want a little bit of moisture on there to get those to stick to. So we're going to be using right there, da, 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 Mountain Magic for our base flavor. And we're going to just go ahead and dump in a dash of that. Which has really nice garlic, onion flavors in it. So Yes, it does. Delicious. Absolutely. And that's why we use it as a base for a lot of our recipes. Great, great to build on top of. All right, and we're already working down here, so let's go ahead and get some of this. Carrots are going to be a little bit more rigid, so we want to get most of our carrots in there especially. Kale, uh, I'm a big fan of cooking down kale. You can eat kale raw, of course, but I think uh, when you hit it with the heat, right, it opens up some levels of flavor to the plant. It makes it a little bit more amicable to the palate as well. So let's go ahead and start working this down a little bit here in the pan. Probably add just a little bit more olive oil since we just added some more mass there with our vegetables. But look at those nice vibrant colors we got going, right? Eat the rainbow, as they say. There we go. And I believe I have enough seasoning. You don't want to overdo it. You can always add more seasoning. And we got that rocking and rolling. All right. So let's go ahead and do a quick switcheroo here. I'm going to move this over to the other burner. We're using a medium to medium low heat here. We're going to keep those veggies going. I'm going to keep an eye on those. As I said, we don't want to overcook them. We just want to get them broken down a little bit. I lost a little kale there. Getting too excited on a Monday, flipping things out of the pan. Okay, we got that going. So now we're going to go ahead and get our olive oil is nice and heated up. You see it's become more viscous, so we can go ahead and just coat that whole pan there. And we're not going to add our butter right away. We've got a medium high heat going for our uh, fillets here. Let's bring it back over real quickly. I've got my butter on the board right there that we'll use for uh, lightly basting. But let's go ahead and get a season here. Now we don't need to season the skin side of these. We just need to season the flesh side, okay? And I got a nice sizzle I can hear behind me. There should be enough inherent moisture to get our seasoning to stick here on our fillets. So we're gonna go ahead, do that. And then I'm just gonna, for, for sake of keeping things quick and easy here, I'm just gonna throw on a glove real quickly. And make sure we've got nice even coverage on both our fillets here. See, there's our beautiful, look at that beautiful rainbow trout right there, that skin side shimmering, shining. If you're an active outdoors person and you, you catch fish, right? This is another customizable. You can do uh, any sort of cut of fish that you like here. We've got some beautiful trout in the area. We didn't catch this trout, uh, but if you like to fish, this is a great way. Look at that. We're gonna let that set for just a moment. Look at that, look at that. What's this? What's this? There's flavor everywhere. What's this? What's this? Our veggies over there. Yeah, you can hear here. I'm going to lean down, get that mic over it. Got a nice sizzle going there, okay? We're starting to get, get those broken down a little bit. I can smell that seasoning. Mm -hmm, I can smell it from here. It smells delicious. Beautiful color, doing real good. Okay, we got a nice hot pan there. Let's go ahead, grab our fillets. There's that, listen. Yeah, we can hear it. Nice, skin side down, skin side down. That's how you get that crispy skin. If you want that beautiful uh, trout skin on the outside, we're gonna let that in the pan right there, skin side down is how we're gonna cook that. It's also going to give us a nice exterior. Uh, and if you want to remove the skin, it's going to co basically come right off that skin. We'll show you 
if everything goes according to plan on live TV, which it without a fault, never there's never fails on live TV. Uh, but if everything goes according to plan there, uh, we should uh, be able to basically just remove that skin quite easily. Uh, and like I said, the reason I like cooking with the skin on, not only is it more cost effective, but it also is going to protect the meat. Okay. We're going to need a spoon here. We're going to get butter into the pan momentarily. Okay. We're going to get butter into the pan momentarily after we get that nice sear on that skin, crisp that up. And we're going to basically just baste over the top here. And that's going to cook this all the way through. That's why we don't add the butter right away because we want to get that nice exterior on that skin and cook that through, start cooking it from the bottom. Then we'll start basting over the top. Now, you don't have to wait an incredible amount of time to do this, okay? You're going to essentially give that, that skin side in the pan, which you can hear it. You can hear it. We're sizzling. We're cooking, kids. We're going to give that veggie a little shaky shake there. Uh, about one to two minutes at a medium high heat. And if you're using electric range, they get hot very quick. So we want to let that just do its thing there for a moment. And I'm going to be removing the veggies from the heat here. The residual heat from the pan will carry that over. And we should be at a really nice texture for our vegetables there. All right. You getting excited there, dear? Yeah, it's making me hungry. The smells are awesome. And I'm thinking those veggies are looking pretty good. That kale has broken down. Kale has very rigid fibers that run through it. And that's what makes it uh, more difficult to eat raw. Okay. So we want to make sure that we break that kale down. So we have a nice eating experience. It's wilted down. And like I said, the one thing we don't want to do is overdo it. So I'm going to carry this pan over. I'm going to turn that burner off. Let's go ahead and give you that above view right there. And you can see that kale. Look at that. Very Kale simple. has wilted down. I'm going to try to hold this up and I got the pan underneath. Ooh, look at that. It's just a nice cool. light seasoning. Look at that. It's hot. It's warm. It can cool back down a little bit. It doesn't have to be served super hot. Uh, that's not a big deal. But that kale, we've, we've cooked it down. We've reduced those rigidest, rigidest fibers <laughs> on the inside uh, of the plant. So now it should be a really nice eating experience. I'm going to move that to the back burner there. Uh, it doesn't need any additional heat. The pan will keep it warm, and we're going to be looking pretty good. All right, let's take it back over to the stove cam here. I'm going to grab a pair of tongs out if I can find them. There we go. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look, get that butter in the pan, and then we're going to be moments, literally moments away from constructing this easy, Ooh. nutritious. It's really a pretty healthy dish overall mm -hmm. uh, and full of flavor healthy, nutritious, delicious dish here on Montana Max Barbecue TV streaming live, live on kitsch.com, the food network for a new generation. Thank you, babe. I, right after the clown, <laughs> the Tom clicks, clown kicks. I'm, it's what? Monday. Yeah. It's Monday. What are you saying? All right. Got to be careful there. I pulled that up and you see that filet starting to flake. Is it already? Yeah, and we're in a little stick there on the edge, okay? Which is okay. We just don't want to rip it up. We don't want to rip it up. That means it's still in the process of getting that final sear going. Let's get that butter in the pan, okay? Then we can start our basting action. We don't put our butter in for two reasons. One, the sear, which I just talked about. Secondly, we don't want to burn that butter, okay? We're cooking with a little higher heat here. A little bubbles, okay? I'm going to help it by moving it around the pan here, get this melted down here into the high heat, higher heat rather. Those fillets look awesome. Don't they look nice? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, what's your favorite kind of fish? Mine? Yeah. I know you eat all kinds, but I didn't know if you had a favorite. Uh, well, if, if, I'm if I'm feeling ritzy, uh, I love halibut. Mm. Halibut, absolutely delicious. Sockeye salmon, oh. also uh, a favorite of mine. All right, now we're going to start basting here with the butter. These are very thin, okay? And you should be able to see, all right, I know that angle is not the best. It's kind of hard to work. I can see, yeah. 
it's kind of hard to work across my body that way. Yeah, no, we can, we can still see it. That's good. I got the camera. Looks good. And we're just going to start basting it. Now, the whole pan now isn't hitting that direct heat, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have it hitting that direct heat. I might need a little bit more butter in there. This is not bad. So the butter is the hot, right? Uh, we're not searing the bottom anymore. Is that going to come out? This one's coming along. We're just going to base that down. We're keeping the bottom of the pan uh, on the stove there. Keep that, keep that heat on the butter. The butter is beautiful in color, not burnt, not even browning, but it is obviously hot, okay? In that flesh of the, the trout there, We'll soak up not only that buttery flavor with our seasoning, and you see the seasoning isn't running off, okay? That seasoning is sticking to the fish. It's sticking there. We got that seasoning on there. You don't have to worry about washing that off with that buttery flavor. Seasoning's not going anywhere. And we can already see we're starting to get a transformation here. Hold that up on color on the fillets. They're mm -hmm. gonna be uh, internal temperature to cook these through, 145, okay? Uh, or it should just nice and flake. And the, the common, thing with seafood right is we want that uh to basically just be opaque all the way through the middle it shouldn't have any more of that translucent quality right that uh when fish is raw shrimp are raw see some emotes flying there somebody's joining us here today thank you for being here appreciate you And I'm going to see if I can use a spatula. Now, that's one thing I don't have in my arsenal. I've got every tool under the sun except for a fish spatula. We used to have one, remember? Yeah, I don't know where it went. We haven't. Hmm. I do have a small. It's one of those things, you know. Uh, I did have a small kind of. One of those wooden flat ones might work. I had a small like rubber spatula that yeah, I was looking like for. Red. Yeah. I know which one you're talking about. But then again, who knows where that one is as well? I can try with a thinner, thinner wood one here. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah. Very gently. There we go. See? It right right off the it's pan there. Seen. Yeah. It's good. And I broke that one. That was my fault. I got a little, little carried away there, but we're not sticking on the pan anymore. It sees they're moving very nicely. And you can take a fork and see if they flake. And that's completely fine because we're not serving these, these as fillets. Okay. They're not going to be wrapped up as a fillet in the wrap. Okay. Let's give this just a little bit more basting action. Good tip there, babe. With the wooden spoon, that worked lovely. We're going to base those out a little bit more just for good measure. That helps keep the moisture in. These, I can tell visually, these are pretty much done. Since I broke that one there. Yep, we're opaque all the way through. Looking absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these from the pan. I'll bring them over to the cutting board here. Okay. So let's switch the camera. There we go. Hello, we're back to the overhead. And this will give you a little bit more uh, color correctness than the mm -hmm. other camera. If I hold that up there. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, Look that at that. Good. Seasonings on there. Cooked all the way through. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Yeah, it's flaking. I'm going to break that there. It's all right because we're going to work these down. There's the skin. See, that's how easy the skin comes right off of it, right there. So I'm going to turn that burner off there. Give me one quick moment. And once again, with any protein, it is going to continue to cook. But I'm going to go ahead here, and we're just going to hop into this. Look at that. All right. Look, I'm going to see if we can get this on this. This is exactly what I wanted to illustrate. Let's go ahead and zoom, zoom, zoom when I boom, boom, boom. Right there. Okay. Okay. You ready? 
Y'all ready for this? Bum, 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 trout, 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 trout. Look at that. Right off. off the skin. Nice. We got a nice, easy flake there. So I can go Definitely ahead and we done. Can awesome. flip that over. See if I can, if I get lucky, if I really am nailing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, kids. All right, let's go ahead very gently. There's that piece there. If, you, if you've done it, and this is, I can feel that. That's nice. It's crispy. Trout skin is edible if you want to do that. And look, you can easily right peel that. It's very hot, so I'm doing it a little gingerly. But look at that. Peel that right off there. Just like that. Fantastic. How, how awesome. Okay. Yep. Coming right off. Perfect. So that means we should be able to do it right across the board all the way. I got butter fingers. I would guess so after all the butter basting. <laughs> Use my pinky there. We got one more piece here. You can see the skin. It's already pulled back a touch from the heat. Look at how easy that is to remove that. No fuss, no muss. There we go. It also, there's a, that's a little bit of uh, belly fat right there, which a lot of people like that. There's a lot of flavor in that. Uh, Jen, not a big fan. No, thanks. So we're okay. just going to go ahead and remove that. But yeah, a lot of people like... Uh, like the belly fat on catfish trout it's got a lot of flavor in it and then we're, we're just going to go ahead and look how easily that flakes just with lightly taking my wood spatula so we're just going to break that up into kind of bite-sized chunks you can shred it as much as you want but that it's that easy there we go and all as i construct here uh i'll build that out a little bit more all right real quickly excuse me for one second here is I wash my hands, okay? Got butter, all that good stuff. I'm losing my little mic pack over there. <laughs> Ran into something. Let's wash our hands real quickly from all that buttery, trout skinny goodness. And then we can go ahead and start constructing here. Back into the pocket you go. <laughs> Now our pan for our vegetables should still be warm. So let's go ahead and kind of just get this all set up assembly line style right there. We've got our trout ready to go, nice and warm. I've got a trivet here that we can go ahead and grab our vegetables right there. And we'll, we'll go ahead and throw this up uh, on the overhead camera here so we can make these nice and easily. There we go. You should be able to see everything. just so we can see nice there we go all right grab ourselves uh, a spoon or a butter knife let's grab a beautiful tortilla here look at these very nice loving that flour tortillas flour tortillas for these ones okay these are this is a wrap it's a fresh wrap uh so we're not going to be cooking the tortilla if you wanted to fold these up and do a quick uh, warm up in a pan, you can absolutely do that, but also not necessary, right? Okay. So we're going to take our hummus here. Remember, this is one of the customizable parts. Whatever kind of hummus that you'd like, we're just going to do a nice spread right there. There we go. Like so. Spread it out. Then we can go ahead and take our veggie mixture. Cabbage, kale, carrots. That's what we're using here. But by all means, play with your food, right? You can add whatever kind that you'd like in there, whatever kind of veggie mix that you would like. And then we're going to come in with some of this beautiful trout here. Look at that. Nice, fresh. With our letterbox seasoning, you can see that lovely color on a few of those pieces there. That seasoning adheres beautifully there. Look at that, right? 
Now, this is kind of like uh, making a burrito. We're not going to fold the ends in on these because we're going to do a wrap. But you want to be careful not to overload these. Otherwise, you're going to take that first bite and everything's going to spill out the backside. And then before you know it, you're in trouble. All right. Now, just to add one more layer of flavor, uh, like I said, Thousand Island, uh, tzatziki. We're using kind of a mustard, uh, mustard sauce here that we have. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a nice... Like crisscross, just like that. See if I can get that on the side angle. There we go. Move that out of the way for a moment. Oh, there we go. Now we can see better. And that's how easy it is. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that, of course, is to wrap it up. I'll take it. We're going to leave the ends open. Turn it around right like that. You got all that beautiful interior there. And that's that easy to make yourself trout veggie wraps for lunch. Full of seasoning, full of flavor, very healthy, and a perfect way to start your week. Dear, oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. Would you care to try? Absolutely. Here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from across the room, right to your hearts, the one and only Kansas City Gym, the official food critic here on Montana Max Barbecue TV, and my partner as well. Ooh, that looks great. Can I cut it in half? Mm -hmm. Are you cut it? I'll do and that for you. And then you can have a bite, too. We'll cut at a diagonal. Things right. always look nicer at a diagonal. Let's go ahead and uh, flip that back here, because when we cut it, you'll really be able to see... Look at that. Full of flavor. Ooh, that looks good. Full of freshness. Absolutely wonderful. Time for lunch. Time for lunch. All right, I'm going to try this right now. You want to take it? Yeah, let's two? do it. Let's do it together. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. That was really good. Absolutely phenomenal. Mm hmm. Show runtime right now is about. 33 minutes. Mm, <laughs> yummy. Is 33 minutes. You can easily accomplish this recipe uh, during the week with fresh ingredients. Mm. If you're not hosting your own live show on Kitsch, you can take care of this in probably about 15 minutes. It's a nice light meal. I love it. It's so tasty. I love the sauces and the hummus work really well together. It's and so make sweet. it your own. That's part of the fun of these recipes, right? Mm. I'm going to have more than one of these. Well, as soon as we get off air, dear, I'll make you another one. <laughs> that is really mm -hmm. yummy. Really yummy. All right. So there we go. We kicked off the week. We got mm. you on a healthy foot here with our trout veggie wraps. How easy, how awesome, and how delicious. Thank you again for joining us on another episode of Montana Max Barbecue TV. I've got trout wrap right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Live on Kitsch.com, the food network for a new generation. If you haven't already, check out our Facebook and our Instagram, as well as our website, where you can pick it up not only the seasonings we use today, but all of our sauces as well at MontanaMaxBBQ.com. We'd love to see you on our other platforms as mm -hmm. well. We're always posting new and fun content for you. Mm -hmm. So thank well, you again. What? We'll be back again tomorrow. Yeah. Same time at noon on Valentine's Day. Ooh, Valentine's Day. What am I making you for Valentine's Day? Do you remember? Taco. Oh, it's Taco. Taco Tuesday. Not only is it Valentine's <laughs> Day, but it's the most romantic of days, Taco Tuesday. So make sure to join us. That's right. Chicken fajita tacos tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Hit that follow button. And thank you on behalf of both of us again for spending a little of your day with us. I'm Montana Max, and this is Kansas City Jen. And as always, for those about to cook. We salute you. We sure do. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Bye. Mm, yummy.